hey guys what's going on so we have just now completed the nmap series and believe me when i say this learning nmap is going to help you a lot in our upcoming hacking endeavors and if you have not yet watched that nmap series i highly recommend you to go and watch it i leave the link in the description below or a card will appear at the top right corner so make sure you watch and understand that series all right so now we are going to jump into the practical aspects of ethical hacking and from this video onwards, we are going to cover wireless aspects of hacking. Yes, finally, we are going to do wireless hacking. And beware when I say this, you gotta get your hands dirty. And I am excited to teach you all the other kind of stuff, all the cool stuff that you can do in wireless hacking. So let's begin. This video is basically a prerequisite. That means what all stuff you need to be prepared so that you can perform wireless or Wi-Fi hacking. So I'll tell you what all you need to do, what all you need to know and everything related to wireless hacking in this video itself. So let's move forward. So what all are we gonna cover in Wi-Fi hacking? Well, Wi-Fi hacking is a broad spectrum topic and a lot of things comes under Wi-Fi or wireless hacking. And yeah, let me be let me be specific right over here. When I mention wireless hacking, I am only specific about Wi-Fi hacking and I'm not talking about Bluetooth or radio frequency hacking at all. Right now we are focused at Wi-Fi hacking and let's let's focus on that only right now. So we are going to learn a lot of new concepts and exciting stuff under Wi-Fi hacking. We'll be learning how we can kick people off their network, change the MAC address, sniff packets from air, capture WPS handshake, crack passwords, app poisoning, evil twin attacks and much much more. So it's a broad spectrum topic and we are going to cover all of them in this Wi-Fi hacking series. But before we even jump into these topics, we must have a wireless adapter. Yes, an adapter that supports packet injection and monitor mode. Now I'm going to explain what packet injection and monitor mode in a moment, but it is crucial to understand that all Wi-Fi adapters does not support packet injection or monitor mode. Only certain wireless USB adapters supports packet injection or monitor mode. Then there is one more problem that you need to come over and that is your Kali Linux or Parrot OS must have a wireless driver installed. Well, if you have a Parrot operating system, you don't need to worry about installing a wireless driver. It comes pre-installed. Well, for Kali Linux users, it might be a problem. You might not come with a pre-installed wireless driver, but no need to fret. I'm here to teach you how you can install a wireless driver. So coming back to the topic, we need a wireless adapter that supports both packet injection and monitor mode. And as I said, then only select few USB adapter wireless adapters that support packet injection and monitor mode. And now I have divided these adapters broadly into two categories. One way too expensive, another way too cheap. If you are willing to invest a lot of money and want high grade items, then I would recommend you to go and buy the Wi-Fi adapters that comes under expensive. But if you're like me, who's not interested in investing a high, a high lump of money, but still want to perform Wi-Fi hacking, then you can go ahead and buy the adapter, Wi-Fi adapter that comes under the cheap category. All right. So let me first show what all adapters come under the expensive category. So this is a Wi-Fi adapter and its name is Alpha AWS036NHA and this is one Wi-Fi adapter that supports packet injection and monitor mode and it is currently at $59.99 so as you can see it's expensive and this is the go-to Wi-Fi adapter for any ethical hacker or penetration tester as it is made only for packet injection and monitor mode it also comes with two different antennas to increase its range and it uses an Aetheros chipset which is used for packet injection and monitor mode all right now the second wi-fi adapter is this particular wi-fi adapter right over here this is the alpha awu so36 ach this is another high grade wi-fi adapter that is used only for packet injection and monitor mode and this is currently at 69 dollar 99 cents again highly expensive now this is the third wi-fi adapter that i would recommend and it comes under the expensive category and that is the panda wireless pau09 n600 and this it supports dual band that is both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and it also supports packet injection and monitor mode so if you are willing to invest money and buy high grade items then i would suggest you to go and buy from these three adapters it would really benefit as these are made for packet injection and monitor mode purposes only. But if you are like me, who is not willing to spend that much amount of money in it, but still want to do Wi-Fi hacking and enable packet injection and monitor mode, then I will recommend you to go ahead and buy this particular Wi-Fi adapter. This is the TP-Link TLWN722N. 
this particular version is the one that I'm talking about. Now look at its price. It's just $13.99. So it's way too cheaper than all other Wi-Fi adapters. But the only issue is that it's version 1 used to support packet injection and monitor mode. This currently is the version 2 as you can see here. And it as of now does not support packet injection and monitor mode as claimed by the manufacturer. Because you know manufacturers are too lazy. They don't want to include packet injection and monitor mode into some basic wireless adapter. Whose purpose is not for penetration testing but rather to connect to Wi-Fi networks. But no need to worry. After some crucial research I have found a way in which you can override its firmware. And enable packet injection and monitor mode in this particular wireless adapter. And to all those who are spreading wrong information. Believe me, I am using this particular Wi-Fi adapter itself for my penetration testing and ethical hacking works. And I am going to show you how you can override its firmware to enable packet injection and monitor mode in my upcoming videos. So stay tuned. I would recommend you to watch this Wi-Fi hacking video series as it's going to be really exciting. Now let's understand what is packet injection and what is monitor mode. Monitor mode enables us to sniff wireless traffic passing through the air surrounding us without connecting to that particular Wi-Fi network. Or simply speaking, you can sniff data packets without actually connecting to the Wi-Fi. So that is monitor mode. Now what is packet injection? Packet injection is the process of forging or spoofing packets and sending it to the access point or victims with malicious intents. Packet, in packet injection is the most crucial part in ethical hacking, in Wi-Fi hacking, as it does most of the hacking stuff. So that's why a USB adapter that supports both packet, inject packet injection and monitor mode is necessary for Wi-Fi hacking. So that was all about the prerequisites that you need to jump into Wi-Fi hacking. In the next video, we are going to learn how we can install the wireless driver for Kali Linux or even if in Parrot operating system, if you have some issues. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content.